Hey you guys, it's Libby. I am back again with another pour. Um, I haven't been pouring in a while, so I am really excited to do this. Um, it's going to be a part of my other rusty pour um, that I did a while back. And it's going to have um, some turquoise and this beautiful phthalo green turquoise that um, I made that I love. I'm using two pouring mediums. Uh, one pouring medium is Floetrol and Dimethicone, and one for the fluid acrylics that I'm using. Um, and the other is, let's start, and the other is um, the Danny Clark pouring medium. Alright, I'm going to have to get up. So, this is the Quinacridone orange. And it's the Golden Fluid Acrylic. Double glove today because um, this way when I take it off to torch, um, after flipping the cup, I will do tan from up high. I can take off my gloves and then I can torch with clean gloves. And then tilt again and have gloves on. So that's... Thank you for that tip, Amory. Um, for any of you watching this, you should know I learned everything right here on YouTube uh, by watching countless other YouTube teachers, I like to call them, and artists. Um, YouTube has been such a great way for us to kind of um, share our ideas and our work and it's been really exciting. So I'm using a new cam. Uh, well, it's not new, but I'm using our good camera <laughs> to do this now because so many of my videos have been cutting out. Um, I did another video for you guys, but it cut out. Um, but I still have to. Whoop, I still have to edit that. Orange. Orange. And. What's next? What's next? After orange, I'm going to do brown. Trying not to get paint on the camera because that would not make anyone in this house happy. And then I'm going to do a little more white. And then I'm going to put the turquoise green in. And is it recording? Yeah, it's flashing. Okay, awesome. Oh, I'm so excited for this green monster. I hope I stirred all these after adding the dimethicone. Uh, that looks stirred. Okay, this is stirred. Now this uh, green is really pretty. Oof, they re it really doesn't do it justice, the light and the camera. It's a little thick, I know. Um, it was just, it's a lot of different kinds of paint, so I want to be careful how I uh, put this paint in. Because I don't want too much of it, so I'm just kind of doing this. Uh, let me... Really up high through the brown is my goal. And then there, maybe layer it. And I'm worried that's too much already. Put more here through the gold, maybe. And then um, I'll put some of this light turquoise. This is a lighter uh, turquoise, lighter version of that. So I do mix Windsor and Newton paint with other types of paint. Um, Windsor and Newton soft body paint with, um, with golden fluid acrylics in a pour. And I just use different pouring mediums for them um, to get them to a similar consistency. Uh, okay, what else? Let's do more tan. Layer. I'm going to layer that over the blue. Okay, and now I'm going to do 
the clinacridone orange. This is going to be interesting for sure. Um, some more white. I'm worried this is going to be a totally different pour and it's not going to go with the other painting now. I'm going to add some more orange. And more gold. It does look beautiful though. I have to zoom you in. Oh, let's see if I can do this without getting paint on the camera. This is why I wanted this camera. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? Is it focus? No. So that's what it looks like right now. The colors are even prettier in real life. Okay. No paint on the camera. Alright, awesome. So, let me think. How am I going to make this more like the other painting? I definitely have to add more chocolate brown. Get more of that white in. I mean, if anything, and we can't make it a triptych, then, um, then my in-laws can um, put it in the other room. Because I know my mother-in-law mother wanted to put more turquoise accents in, in the other room. Okay, I'll put one more white in here. Oh, you missed how pretty that was. God, the cups are beautiful. Make sure we have enough orange. And more quinacridone orange. So I really have no idea what this is going to be, but I'm really excited. And how about some more gold? And then we'll do some more tan. And then I'm going to do a two cup flip on this 12 by 24 canvas. And that's the tan. Okay, this is going to be really interesting. Okay, so here are the cups. I'm going to do a close up. Um, I just had the doctor's office call me at this exact time. So it's kind of actually good timing, um, but I'll just have to edit the video. And this is the other cup. It's pretty. So I am now going to zoom you out and start the pour on this 12 by 24 inch canvas. And let me tighten the tripod. I got some new equipment, so we'll see if it works. Um, here we go. And I'm going to take my board, raise my light, take my board, and am I in the camera? Yes. Focus, can you see us? Okay, awesome. So, good karma! I am going to just 
spread these out a little. And I'm going to get the white that I have. I'm probably going to just spread this with my fingers. And I did get a new spatula. But I'll probably just... Let's see. Get all this out. Aha! I got this. I'm so excited. I used a 55% off coupon yesterday. Yes. That was fun. And I have the tripod now, and I'm using the camera. I just have to check how much time I have, but it should be okay. Oop, it's coming out over there already. It looks just like the other one. Spread this. And I feel like so fancy with the big one. I'm excited. Um, get this. And spread you here. Okay. That's good. And go. So, I'm going to go one this way and one this way. How much time do I have? It's recording. 25 minutes. Don't worry, folks, it's not going to be that long. But I do have to pause, take a very pretty macro shot with my camera. That's amazing. And I will show you, I will insert it into this part of the video. Because it's so pretty. It's like a ghost in the paint. So, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to switch it. Put this here. Put this here. And we'll see what happens. There's a lot of brown on this one. So I'm not sure. Uh, oh, that's pretty. That's already my favorite part. So let me put the cups down. I'm going to gloves a little so I don't get it all over my new torch. Torch a little. Bigger flame. And then I'm going to tilt. Ooh. I love dimethicone. These are beautiful cells. Okay. Now, go away, bug. I'm going to tilt. I'm just going to kind of spread it. Very different from the last one. And it's very kind of elongated cells. Just trying to get it to come down to that corner. And it's done. Oh, this is very different. I 
it is very pretty. It's got some great colors. Colors are coming through. I'm going to torch here and here. Torch over here and above. Hey, you guys, you're looking at some really beautiful cells in those desert colors from the pour you just watched. Um, I really love the browns and that beautiful quinacridone orange mixed in with the turquoise. I think I'm going to do another pour with even more turquoise and I'll show you guys really soon. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Paint on!